All right, I think this is the last piece of the puzzle for Pickles' lab. Perfect. Okay, we get all these stuff back in order. Oh, wait, I got some... Yeah, I got the iron and the glass. His mobile lab will be all ready for him when he comes back. Oh, hello? Hello? Hello, is this Joe? It is Joe. Where are you? I'm in the lab just trying to uh, get Pickles' mobile lab all set up and uh, back in the order he had it because he'll be pretty mad if we uh, don't put it all back together. Okay, the barbecue's almost done. <laughs> what? I mean... I've had to do a terrible thing. You did it last time, but you left me to do it this time. Oh, Joe, man. It's going to be okay, buddy. Don't cry. Oh, no, it's just the smoke. It's getting in my eyes. Yeah, <laughs> okay, that's believable. Not. <laughs> Looks like you took care of everything over here. Yep. Positively toasty. <laughs> Indeed, man. All right. I think you're enjoying that a little too much. Just a little bit. Oh, jeez. Pebble Teen, I didn't see you there. What's up? Thanks for taking care of stuff here. How's Pickles doing in the hospital? Joe, no good news. No Joe, good news. should we share it with her? Are we allowed she's to? She's got to know. She's, a, she's the master chief. Is she family, though? Uh... I don't know. Okay, she has I suppose, wings. I have wings. I suppose we can break protocol here. Pickles, we have him up in the infirmary. He, uh... He slipped into a coma. He's gonna be there a while. He sat, uh, suffered massive head trauma. And, um... We strapped him to the bed, though, just in case, you know, he gets yeah. a bit angry in his, his sleep. We'll let you know more. Uh, Joe, we probably should get back to the hospital, because I assume they're... Probably needing to be treated, all those people in the trauma room. Okay, well, hopefully, they're all uh, the helicopters landed yet. Uh, do you know which way it is? If I remember rightly, there was a gap in the wall over here, and this, yep, this is it. This okay, is oh, I'm it. on my way. <laughs> well, let's get to the hospital, right. Joe. Uh, I assume we're gonna have to treat that burn victim for. You okay, boy? <laughs> Yep, I'm fine. Don't we worry had, about me. We had that burn victim, Joe, that we're going to need to take care of, okay? The burn victim? Yeah, I remember he had the cream. Oh, yeah, we, hopefully we have some burn creams. And we're going to definitely need a lot. And uh, who else was there? There was some guy, oh, with the pilot with the head trauma? Yep, he's going to need a new, probably a new head, but we don't have any of those, so... Oh, we're right here, Joe, we're right here. Uh, well, geez, we'll have to the plane land, or the helicopter landed. Come on, we need you, Joe, oh, as soon as yeah, possible. Oh, it's good. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm just really... I sit, fell off the bridge. You had a bit of a rough landing here, guys. What's going on? We managed to get them all in safely. The flight went well. The chief is waiting to speak with you. Joe, where are you, man? Are you lost? I'm a bit lost. I, I'll be honest. I'll, I'll try to come find you. Okay, where art thou? Um, oh, I'm at the back of the um, military base. The Was I supposed to go left? Oh, Joe, you were supposed to go follow the line. The line? You were so there was a road you take. <laughs> follow that road from the military base. How would you end up back at the military base? All you had Wait. to do was take a right when you got up here. No, I did. I swear I did take a. You're right. back at the military base. You said. Yeah, I'm right there. Where are you? I'm right where you first went up. Oh, there you are. All right, lead me. Lead the way. What are you doing? You. I I'll, I'll, I'll tell you where I went. I went I right. Do you didn't go right, Joe. I did. If you so went did. right, then you obviously wouldn't be back in the military base. Then you need uh -huh. to take a left right down the stairs. So you see the Jaws? The Jaws hide and seek area? Where yep. Uh, see, this is where I went wrong. I went this way. Yeah, because doing a loop makes total sense. <laughs> I didn't think of that. I mean, honestly. If I'm still learning this To place, get to man. point A to point B, you have to do an entire circle back to point A to get to point B. And then you have to carry the one, and then eventually you'll get there. And you're still not even here. You were following I'm here. me. I went to unpark in the mech. <laughs> well, sorry about that, guys. We have a bit of a 
a newbie mech driver. Joe, get in here. We gotta go to the trauma center. Chief needs uh, us. Coming through. Chief, how's it, it going? You? Joe, I'm in the trauma room, man. Sorry, I, sorry, it's sorry. not me. Uh, oh, uh, Joe, it's, he doesn't know how to drive that mech. You're honestly gonna have to train him or something. You did a great job, doctors. You saved so many lives. We just need to do the paperwork here. If you could fill out their bedside cards, that'd be great. Also, some comforting words to the wives of the injured men might also help. Some more anesthesia, too, perhaps. We sure will, Doctor. Chief. Should I call him Doctor? Check box number one. Joe, get off that. You can't be near the woman. He said comforting. No, Joe. All right. No, no, no. On, with the, on the work with the work. You Young man. So many wives. I, I hope... Uh, I hope your stay is <laughs> treating you well. Thank you for saving our daddy. You're very welcome. I hope my dad will be okay. He will sure be. He will. Don't worry. We're professionals here. Well, uh, yes, he is, let's check way. on this man right here. All right. Um, well, you got to fill out his card as can be. His bed. Stable as can be. Where's his card? Oh, uh, well. Station issue. Let me just examine him with my feet real quick. He looks like he's just got some... His lungs, he seems to be breathing pretty well. His lungs are holding well to my entire body. He's got blood on his body. wrists. Oh, whoa. Well. Like some broken wrists. Broken wrist. Okay, you can put that down. Okay, both wrists. Alrighty. Joe, wheel me around. Wheel me around, Joe. <laughs> Come on. Wheel me around. Let's go for a ride. Okay. We're going down, down. It doesn't work. You're too fat. I am not fat. <laughs> Okay, well, moving on. Um, his wife? Um, your husband will be just fine. Yes, don't worry. And we got this guy right here. Doesn't seem to have any family. Um, maybe they just don't know he's injured. Bachelor. Bachelor. He seems relatively fine. He seems... The uranium on his toes, though. Uranium on the toes? Let me check his... his uh... This seems like, like a lot of them have got uranium on their feet. He seems fine. He seems fine. Oh, they all... Oh, my God. Uranium, uranium. He seems hmm. to be good. Alright, uh, we have three with uranium on their feet. We didn't... Uh, I gotta put that on here. It's okay, I will try and uh, wash that off. What? You're gonna wash that off? i wash it off. Uh, scrub it in up! Okay, Come so did this guy have anything other than uranium on feet? Uh, he looks okay, actually. That's Seems stable-ish. Just dirty feet. And he's got his suit on, so he should be okay. And then uh, bed three here. Feet rush. Hello, ma'am. He's pink. I should be able to cool him off, though. Uh, well, that's she is not because nice he's hot. It, he's got some burn on him. We're going to put some burn cream and slowly peel back the uh, the burn. Is that flesh. first degree or third degree? Which that's is worse? Third degree, first? Third. Third degree. Third? Third degree full body burns. It's okay, that buddy. Is... You're going to be fine. He's Rough. probably going to be a lot of pain, and you probably don't want to be here when we peel off the skin for him. Oh god! Well, that's I how love you do. peeling it off skin when I have some in. I'll do it. No, it's not. It's really deep. We gotta, we gotta go down to the point where we can find actual good flesh that oh uh, will goodness, heal right. correctly. Well. Yeah, you might not want to be here for this, Joe. Chief Joe, he seem he has, he's this like instinct of you know fight or flight. He's more of the flight person, and he leaves. Whenever he comes to uh, I never leave. I high pressure know. situations. Just needed to throw up outside. I guess just throw up then. Uh, bed four. Uh, we have to see broken helmet. Some glass in his head, perhaps. I would assume some glass. It doesn't see like if he's yeah he's stable right now. That which means he probably doesn't have anything wrong with his head. But we might want to get a CT scan on him, Joe. Or the, let's get an MRI. Joe, grab him and I'll meet you at the MRI machine. It'd be uh, well, pretty uh, terrible. I need a stretcher. Well, it'd be Doctor. pretty terrible if we uh, don't check him, and he actually might have a uh, teratoma, which would be what? terrible. It's a head injury. A terrible. Oh god, I've got his wife. Oh god. Joe, Help. put his wife down. Help. No, stop stealing wives, Joe. Help. No. What is wrong with her? Why is she sideways in the bed? <laughs> I don't know. Get her out. Get her out. Alright, I got this. No, I'm gonna. I'm gonna grab this man. You obviously can't handle the job. No, you're gonna get it too. Trust me. Uh, no. Alright, meet me at the MRI machine, Joe. Open the doors. Open the doors for me. Come on. Open them. Gotta get this man to the MRI machine, stat. Alright, open these Move, doors. Move, Mario! Move! Mario, do you do anything? Alright, um. Oh, I'm gonna back him in actually. It might make more sense since he has the issue. Just 
Try not to get trapped beep, in there yourself. Beep, beep, okay, and I think we're as far back yep, as we can just go. Gotta put that music on they all love. Um, Damn, Joe, what is wrong with you? Rock and roll. Okay, well, is he conscious? Not a clue. Uh, let me check. Nope, he's not moving. Alright, um, probably right on that clipboard, Joe. His name? Yeah. Terrence. Terrence, okay. So, we're gonna start the machine now, Terrence. It uh, is gonna make a loud noise. And, uh, got some music for you. What do you down, like? Down. Do you like hip hop? Boom. I don't think he likes the hip hop. Uh. Joe, what did we talk about last time? You can't go out into the radiation. That's not good for your brain. Maybe you should scan me for some excess rhythm. <laughs> we probably should get an x-ray and figure out what's wrong with you. It's either therapy or MRI machine. All right, it's powering down. Joe, go to the printer. Get the stuff. To the printer. Okay. Let's get the uh, print off. Sticking it in. Push it in, Joe. Push it in. That is definitely a teratoma, Joe. I don't know what that is, but it don't look good. It's a brain injury, Joe. Uh oh. I, I can't look at this anymore. It's ugh, too disgusting. It looks All right. like a pie. <sighs> I'm sorry to say this, man. Take him into surgery. We're gonna bring you into surgery. It's a massive is issue with your brain. Don't stand up. If you whoa, whoa, brain whoa, whoa, whoa! Back what off! What you just do? What you did? You touch me? What is going on? Don't touch me again, doctor. I'm sorry. Don't ever touch me. I didn't. Jesus. I'm trying to get this man in here, Joe. He's got a severe head trauma, and you're not even opening this door. No, I'm, I'm going to look for a brain. I've got to find a brain somewhere. Fine, I'll do it myself. I'll get him in here. Come on, big guy. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Hello, Nurse Nina. Is this Nurse Nina, Joe? Uh... Joe, Nurse Nina, is this Nurse Nina? What's her name? What's her name, Joe? Nina. Nina, yeah, I told you it was Nina. Hi, Nina. Sorry about that. You're all prepped and ready to go, which actually is awesome. We didn't even page her. Uh, this you is just... the only brain I could find, by the way. Brain coral? Should fit nicely in his head. Joe, did you just go out find outside and find this brain coral? Um, yes. It's worth a shot, don't you think? Well, we're going to have to go in, take his helmet off, and try to cut around that... Uh... Teratoma. Uh, this might be a good patch job, though, for it. Um, I guess we're going to have to find out. Joe, let's go to the surgery room and let's kind of work out a plan. Oh, the uh, the planning room. What is it called? The uh, doctor's think room. Pre-surgery meeting room. Okay, Pre-surgery well, room. <laughs> um, what are we going to call this guy? Pilot? 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 Five? No, Terrence. Terrence. Oh, his name was Terrence. Yes. Um, yes. Surgery type in time. Well, uh... Brain surgery? <laughs> well, this, that font's a little too big. Who was writing this? They must have been all capping. <laughs> Brain surgery. Alright, well, I'll get him on the table. He can't stay in the stretcher. We need that stretcher. Terrence. Terrence! Okay, well, you get him on the table, Joe. Um, I'm gonna meet you in the uh, comments room. Actually, I'm a little bit hungry. Uh, I should probably just eat my hot dog. What the devil was that noise? D Joe, did you just use a flamethrower? Uh, I might have. By accident, sorry. Okay, well, anyways. Uh, let me clear off my clipboard and get a plane here. Joe, wait, wait, uh, what are you doing? Oh my goodness, it actually sets fire to things. Joe, oh, oh my god, oh my god. No, oh my help, god. come help. Sound help. the alarm, sound the alarm. Fire drill, fire. guys, it's a fire drill. Everybody panic. Everybody run around in circles. Joe, what'd you do? What did you do? I don't know! Joe, put it down! Over. Put it down! I will kill you! If it takes that, Joe, I will! Stop! Please! You're burning everything I love and dear! Parents on the table. Alright. Get to the pre-meeting room now! Or I'm telling the chief! It's a false alarm, guys. We can turn off this alarm real quick. There we go. Jesus. Oh. Well, what's was the plan, working. Stan? Well, Brain uh, I just gotta label this. Brain surgery? I don't have enough room to fit all this. <laughs> this is a long bit. 
Okay, uh, brain surgery. There we go. Okay, so game playing in here, Joe. We need to work out a good plan for Mr. Terrence Williams. Williams? That's his you, last name, Joe. Did you not read his chart? You made that up. I was going to call him pilot number five. How did you even believe that, Joe? <laughs> well, okay, so this approach, Joe, is going to have to uh, be perfect. I've got it! No, you don't have it, Joe. I've got it. You, you attach the brain with honey, and then the bees get in there and start nibbling, and it reattaches the... Because the bees have mouths no, that are really no. small. Well, where did you read this? Is that a Discovery Channel? Uh, no, no, that's not. No, that's from, I think um, if we my use... university days. All right. Take off helmet... We're probably going to have to cut the helmet off. Cut okay. helmet off. Probably, yeah, makes more sense. Uh, we're going to need to then... What, Joe? Uh, probably you know, uh, make, yeah. making it first incision. First cut. And and we're going to cut out the... How do you spell teratoma? Uh, Terrence Toma. Terrence Toma. Terrence Toma. And uh, stick in the new re brain. Reattach brain coral where brain was beforehand. Okay, that's good start. Apply super glue to hold uh, the coral. No, this is gonna work. All right, Joe. We're gonna need some really strong super glue. Where'd you go? Uh, where did you go? <laughs> Am I in the presence of a genie? Uh, wait, what the <laughs> heck, man? What is... You okay? You I just... went in the cupboard, and then the cupboard disappeared. I think the cupboard went to Narnia. You disappeared, man. The cupboard disappeared. I tried to go in the cupboard. I will be the cupboard. No. I, I'm no. gonna need some sleep before this surgery. Been up for like five days. Well, I get, yeah, we might honestly want to get some sleep. Uh, let's probably go up to the break room and uh, catch a few Z's, and then we'll be fresh and ready to go, and we'll be able to take out that teratoma for Mr. Terrence.